guest with us today. We have a, a great artist joining us here on our big program. So, Rebecca, go ahead and give us a brief introduction on yourself, my friend. Tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, great. Um, my name is Rebecca Riss, and I have been basically singing since I've been about five years old. Uh, funny story is uh, I grew up, uh, this is going to age me a little bit probably, um, but I grew up, you know, singing Xanadu by Olivia Newton-John and awesome. Light of My Life by Debbie Boone, you know, classic songs from the late 70s. And uh, I used to uh, kind of uh, put, uh, shut myself in the closet with the headphones on you know, and sing at the top of my lungs, and, you know, um, so I knew from a very young age that I had this big old voice and wanted to do something with it, and uh, been involved professionally since I've been 18, truly. Um, had some great opportunities, uh, did a concert at the Statue of Liberty in my, in wow. my uh, teenage years. Um, I had an opportunity to be the soloist for a church choir to sing for Pope John Paul II, Wow. So, um, yeah, I've had some amazing tremendous. opportunities in, in my life. And, you know, uh, I, I uh, had a family, and now uh, I, with um, the ability uh, for technology with home recording just getting better and better and better, uh, I've had an opportunity to uh, create some songs with some amazing people. Most importantly, most recently, I have connected with a gentleman from Brazil. His name is Ricardo Margadona. And we have uh, started ourselves on a journey of completing an LP together. Wow. So uh, tell us a little bit about where we find you on social media, websites, all these things, so people can get in touch with you. Absolutely. So you can. I do have a website. It's RebeccaRissMusic.com. You can also find me on Facebook, uh, Rebecca Riss. You can find me on Instagram at Rebecca Riss Music, and as well as on Twitter at Rebecca Riss M U S One. Fantastic. So, uh, how did you get hooked up with this with this gentleman overseas? Yeah, so that's uh, an amazing experience in itself. So, um, online collaboration has been probably a thing for twelve years, it may be a little bit longer. Um, so uh, when I decided I wanted to go ahead and get back into home recording, I joined this website called Compose.com and uh, started just you know working with a few people. People would post that they were looking for a vocalist for a music track that they wrote, or a lyricist would say, "I want somebody to sing my lyrics," and you know it's uh, people are always looking for a, a part. Somebody could be just looking for a guitarist. It's it's a, a multiple of things, and he happened to post a track that he, I thought he was looking for a singer for. I didn't realize he had already invited another singer to uh, to that project. Um, but that is how we started chatting. You know, uh, I just was very interested in his music, and I wanted to sing it. And he said, you know what? Maybe we can do something in the future. And the great thing about it was he didn't forget about me. A week later. He put together a music track and um, asked me if I would put my vocals on it. And I listened to it and I fell in love with the song immediately. And that is the song that you can hear that we've done together called Just Like. We actually completed the song in 24 hours. Holy smokes. So yeah. uh, that, that, that is quite the turnaround, my friend. Yeah, for sure. We have got a uh, tremendous guest of this today. Rebecca joins us here in our broadcast. And uh, so what are some of your goals for, for music? Well, at this point, um, I, we just want to, well, I know from me, and I know it's the same for Ricardo, we just want to get our music heard. You know, uh, we've had an opportunity to connect with amazing people like you today, um, but we've had an opportunity to have our, our music played on Internet radio stations, We've uh, been played now three times over in the UK. Um, we've been played several times on the Brazil radio stations. As a matter of fact, we have a debut in Brazil on one of their largest stations down there on Tuesday called KISS FM. Um, and uh, they'll be playing uh, one of our songs called Standing in the Void on their Prog doc, uh, Prog doc show, yes. Pretty impressive stuff. We've got Rebecca Riss with us today. She joins us live here in a big program. So, um, when 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 you go to put together uh, your music, what, what is what is your um, songwriting process and everything like? 
For sure. Um, so basically, I'm looking for um, I'm look. The music has to catch me, and the music almost has to catch me immediately. You know, I can't listen to a, a full song and say, eh, okay, no. It it there's got to be something about it that strikes me within the, I would say the first ten to twenty seconds. And um, then, uh, because I'm, I'm not fully a lyricist, although I do try to write my lyrics, um, as a matter of fact, we did a song together, Ricardo and I did a song together called Delirium, and I actually wrote the lyrics to that song, so that was my first experience doing that. That was really cool. Um, but I, I have a, a, a few people that are lyricists that I work with, and they're just so generous, and they've given me the opportunity to look through their library at any time, and they give me... Uh, the the leeway to go ahead and edit lyrics so it fits the song and uh, so I'm very lucky that way so I'll get the music track I'll listen to it I'll find some lyrics and then you know uh, I'll start working on a vocal melody from there and then the best part is once you got the vocal melody lined down you add all the harmonies to it and it just it becomes beautiful fantastic stuff we've got Rebecca Riss with us today she joins us live here on our world-famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio broadcast, we are coast-to-coast and border-to-border on iHeartRadio today. Also, AMFM, 247.com, tune in, iTunes, KFRK in Denver as well. And uh, so, Rebecca, what, 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 what do you get out of your music? Um, that's a great question because the, the truth is, for me, music is an emotional thing. Um, and whether the song is happy or sad or... Um, a dance worthy. I, I just want somebody to be able to go through the journey with me and the song that was created. You know, um, ju- uh, the song "Just Like" is uh, just a, a heart wrenching song vocally, and uh, even me, I'll listen to it, and by the end of the song, it, it'll make me tear up a little bit. You know, because it's bringing out those those. Uh, touching moments. I want to be able to have people see themselves in some of these lyrics and some of this music and be able to have memories from it. Well, you have got some amazing, amazing things going on. So so w- w- what else is going on in, in your musical career? Um, well, actually, right now, like I said, Ricardo and I are just working on finishing on this LP. Um, we will have a new song that will be released by, hopefully by the first of the year, that is called Echoes of Yesterday. Um, we've already started a process on two or more, three songs that are just very much uh, in the beginning stages in the works. And um, uh, we, we want people to stream us, stream us on Spotify. You'll find us on Spotify. You'll definitely find us on Apple Music, on Deezer. You'll find us on YouTube. Listen to us. Give us your comments. Tell us what you want to hear. Fantastic. So, uh, what what's been the uh, the feedback from your music so far? Well, the 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 amazing things about it is I have not gotten any negative feedback yet, and uh, that's near and dear to my heart. You know, uh, all the comments. Anyone who's ever listened to us on YouTube, it's always been a thumbs up. They've always gave um, amazing feedback regarding the positivity of it. Um, I, I, I know a few people that are already trying to start a fan club for us, which is amazing. I mean, uh, we're just infancy here. You know, the truth is Ricardo and I just started recording together at the end of July. And, you know, uh, we're amazing things are, are already happening for us. And we just want to continue to go with that. That's pretty awesome that you've got uh, kind of a grassroots kind of deal for your for your music. Yes, for sure. So, uh, what 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 are some of your goals over the next year or so? Um, so, for my, I would say my goals for the next year um, obviously would be to uh, finish the album that we're working on. But you know, um, it's been very hard to play music live, especially with the the world today and with all the COVID situations going down. So definitely my goal, at least by the summer, is um, I would love to see Ricardo and I play at a festival somewhere, whether it be in the U.S., whether it be in Brazil. But once live music really starts to kick off again, we definitely want to jump on that train. 
Fantastic. Well, before we uh, go, uh, wrap us up here and tell us how we can get your music and uh, contribute to your uh, to your cause and everything. Absolutely. You can, uh, again, we're on Apple Music, we're on Spotify, we're on YouTube. So, you know, definitely look us up. Uh, you can find it, uh, the playlist under Rebecca Riss. You can find playlist under Ricardo Margadona. Um, you can get the playlist directly from my website, RebeccaRissMusic.com. But whatever your streaming platform is, wherever you go to hear music, you will find us. And if you need help finding us, just hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, my website, wherever. Just message me, and I will ensure I get our music in your hands. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate it. I definitely want to do more stuff with you. I'll be sending you uh, an email here very soon on that. And uh, thanks for joining us today, Rebecca. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. It was appreciate, a pleasure. Appreciate it, my friend. There she goes, Rebecca Riss, and uh, that is iHeartRadio. And KJAG Radio, 